is the Wizard News. Since the ABC7 Chicago I team uncovered issues with Illinois food stamp fraud and link card draining in 2022, others said the same thing happened to them. Laura Downs said her link card was drained by a purchase in New York. She said she had her physical link card with her and never shares her PIN. She went to the Illinois Department of Human Services to report the fraud, got a new card and a new PIN, but was told she would not get her money back. Haywood Talkov, CEO of the government branch of the data analytics company LexisNexis Risk Solutions, said that in the first part of 2023, there have been nearly 250,000 police reports nationwide involving SNAP benefit fraud. The same groups that were pilfering money from unemployment insurance were now pilfering money from the SNAP program. He said criminals are installing skimmers into card machines, which allows them to steal card information. Thieves are also stealing funds through phishing attacks when scammers trick users into clicking links that allow thieves to tap into people's SNAP accounts. He said until the government requires merchants to have more sophisticated machines, adds chips to SNAP cards, and puts in place a two-factor verification system, he believes this type of fraud could be catastrophic. The Illinois Department of Human Services launched a SNAP fraud unit in December 2022 to track reports of card skimming. The USDA, which oversees the federal SNAP program, said it is pursuing multiple approaches to fraud protection, including educating states and grocery stores about how skimming works. Some states are exploring adding chips to the SNAP cards. Meanwhile, Downs said her food benefits still have not been returned by the state. To protect yourself, LexisNexis said you should change your PIN every time you use your card. While they acknowledge it is tedious, they say it is necessary until a real solution is implemented. As for reimbursement, Congress passed a law in 2022 requiring the USDA to replace SNAP benefits to people whose funds were stolen. The law only allows victims two reimbursements per year, but the rollout of the process is taking some time. The USDA said if someone thinks they are the victim of card skimming, they should contact their local SNAP office. USDA encourages SNAP participants to take actions that may help prevent card skimming, such as avoiding simple pins, beware of phishing, and 
checking their EBT account regularly for unauthorized charges. IDHS stated that it is always considering best approaches to handling link card security and that the decision to add a chip to an EBT link card involves many factors such as cost-benefit analysis, state and federal regulations, EBT contractor technologies, and retailer adoption. Source ABC7 Chicago, May 17, 2023